I am just here for anything that involves phoenixes, so if you guys know of any other books that involve phoenixes other than Infinity Sun by Adam Silvera, because don't even get me started on that book. everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with a book haul of, I'm not 100% sure if I should say that, people gifted me or I bought for myself because they're all from Christmas and birthday gift cards from Indigo. So there was a 30% off sale of hardback books so I decided to finally use all of the gift cards that I have been accumulating over the past like two years and picked up eight books so I thought I would share with you guys what these books are before I put them away on my beautiful shelf. So without further ado, let us get started. The first one is probably the one that I am most excited about in this haul. It is the third book in the Crown of Feathers series. I believe that it's a trilogy, I believe that it's done now, but I've been wrong many times before so I'm not gonna say that with confidence. But this is Wings of Shadow by Nikki Palpatro and I loved, loved, loved the first book and I've owned the second book for over a year now so I'm hoping that by having the third book in my hand now it'll give me the motivation and the push to read this chonker of a book. I also did put the second book on my five star prediction list in 2021 and I have yet to pick that up so I really do need to pick up that book so I can know if I was correct and then I'll be able to make a 2022 five star prediction and not feel bad about making another one when I haven't even finished any of the books on that other list so I am just here for anything that involves phoenixes so if you guys know of any other books Books that involve phoenixes other than Infinity Sun by Adam Silvera because don't even get me started on that book. It is not a phoenix book, then please let me know down below because I need more in my life. Next up, I have been eyeing this book for a really long time and it is also a local author which I did not know about but I am very intrigued even more now. But it is The Bones of Ruin by Sarah Rowley and this follows a African tightrope walker named Iris who has the extraordinary power of being unable to die. She is very confused about who she is, where she comes from, and everything to do with her unusual power and then she meets a boy named Adam Temple who wants her to be his champion in an upcoming tournament that will determine the leader for the secret committee that he is a part of for the fight of the upcoming apocalypse. So I just think it sounds really cool and like I said local author so we need to support you know but I'm very intrigued by this. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about this either. There were a few like rumblings that it was like a decent book but I'm hoping that I really love this. Next up I bought this book solely because of the author and I read her duology and absolutely adored it so I just want to see more of her writing but it is Dreams Lie Beneath by Rebecca Ross. I read Queen Risings and The Queen Resistance in 2020 or 2019. I'm not 100% sure. I think 2020 and it ended up being one of my favorite duologies of the year. So like I said, I just want to read more of this author's work because I did really enjoy her writing style in the duology. It says that it is a story about vengeance, family, and the power of dreams and I am just so intrigued and very excited to pick up another one of her books. Next one I picked up just because I have been hearing so much about this book. It is Beasts of Prey by Anya Gray. I just realized that that rhymes. Oh my goodness. But like I said, I've heard so much about this. Everybody is rating it five out of five stars right now. It is a fantasy book. I think all of these books are actually fantasy books and one of my goals for 2022 is to read more fantasy so this entire haul is gonna help me out with that. This one has been getting a lot of hype like nationally. I believe that Oprah even talked about this book saying it was like amazing or maybe it was Reith Witherspoon. I don't remember. One of the like celebrities was saying that it was like incredible. It says that it is the start of an epic new fantasy series and it also is in an epic adventure where monsters hide in plain sight in two determined teens must decide whether to fight for what they've always dreamed of or for each other. So there's gonna be a romance in there too. So I'm excited. I really hope I enjoyed this like everybody else in the world has so far. The next two books are books that were pitched to us during HCC Frenzy and I thought they both sounded really really cool. So the first one is The Color of Dragons by R.A. Salvatore and Erica Lewis and this was pitched as The Star is Born 
but with dragons, which I do not know how that is going to play out, but I am very intrigued and I will read literally anything with dragons. So again, if you have any books that have dragons in it, let me know down below because I want to read them. And then the second one that they pitched was Dark Rise by C.S. Pacat. I read Fence, the first volume, and I did enjoy it. I thought it was a lot of fun, but this is a fantasy instead of like a contemporary graphic novel. And I just think that it would be really cool. Also, the main character's name is Will and my boyfriend's name is Will. So I was like, oh, must read it. Apparently there's an inclusive romance as well and dark shifting points of views. So I'm here for it. I'm really excited. I think it's going to be really cool. I do know that there's a lot of magic in it and that there is a dark war coming. And I do know that this young boy, Will, is a warrior of the light or something like that. So in this upcoming war against the dark, he is a key player. So I'm definitely intrigued to see what happens in this and I have not heard anybody talk about it and what they thought of it so I'm gonna be the first one that I hear about and hopefully it's good things that I have to say. Next up I have A Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee. This has been on my like want to read most anticipated list since it came out and I just never got a copy of it but now I have it and I'm very very excited. I think that the concept of this sounds really cool. There were five girls who mysteriously died. They're all thought to be witches and this one girl Felicity is mourning the death of her girlfriend when a new girl arrives at this school. She is a novelist and asks Felicity for some help looking up and researching these five girls that died. Felicity has always been drawn to the dark so she accepts this offer and it's like the story of that. I'm assuming there's more to it but I want to go into it very blind because I don't like going into fantasies knowing a whole lot because then I always seem to spoil myself so I'm going into it pretty blind but I have heard really good things about this so I'm hoping I really enjoy it. And then the final book that I picked up in this sale was Lore by Alexandra Bracken. I have been drawn to this cover since it first was released. I think it's like stunning and just the all white and gold it just ugh chef's kiss. I think it's beautiful, but I also am a big fan of Greek mythology. I took a couple classes in university and studied those stories, so I am intrigued. I think that it sounds really interesting as well. It's about this girl named Lore. I'm just gonna read the first little bit to you so like you kind of get the gist of the whole concept, but I think it sounds really cool. It says, every seven years the Agon begins as punishment for a past rebellion, nine Greek gods are forced to walk the earth as mortals. They are hunted by the descendants of ancient bloodlines, all eager to kill a god and seize their divine power and immortality. Long ago, Lore fled that brutal world, turning her back on the hunt's promises of eternal glory after her family was murdered by a rival line. For years, she's pushed away any thought of revenge against the man, now a god, responsible for their deaths. Yet, as the next hunt dawns over New York City, two participants seek her out. Castor, a childhood friend Lore believed to be dead, and Athena, one of the last of the original gods, now gravely wounded. The goddess offers Lore an alliance against their mutual enemy and a way to leave the Agon behind before ever. But Lore's decision to rejoin the hunt, binding her fate to Athena's, will come at a deadly cost, and it may not be enough to stop the rise of a new god with the power to bring humanity to his knees. Like, hello, ma'am? I think it sounds so cool. I will not lie, I have heard very mixed things about this, but I am excited, and that's what matters. Alright everybody, so those were the books that I gifted to me slash other people gifted to me through gift cards, but I am very excited about all of them. I'm hoping, hoping, fingers crossed, will that happen? Hmm, who knows? That I will pick these up very shortly and be able to tell you guys my thoughts on them. But let me know down below which one of these I should read first, and if you have read any of them, what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!